am Will. And I'm Kristen. This is So I'm Watching Bridgerton, Season 3, Episode 7. Joining of Hands. Which did happen. Indeed. I was really worried that, like, something was going to happen at the last it minute. It was feeling like a final episode. Yeah. And you, you had a point in the middle where you were like, there's just one more. And yeah. it's like, yeah. We did forget to mention that, uh... Marcus yeah, and uh, Violet. Yeah, Lady Danbury and yeah. Marcus, uh... Mark Anthony, what's his name? Mark Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they that they had a scene in the last episode yeah. that one of the re- she's just been really surly with him the whole time, yeah. and it's just it, it's because he was favored because he was a boy. Oh, yeah. is this the Queen Charlotte stuff? It must be. I feel like I watched the first episode of no, maybe I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking of. It must it must be that. And so am I? Re- am I remembering season one? I'm remembering season one. Maybe. With uh, Simon. Oh, yeah, and the stutter? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm remembering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because his father was a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, he was only 10. So I imagine she was a, quite a young bride, like 16 or 17. And she was trying to escape because she didn't want to marry the man. He, who seems to be dead now. That's how she is. Who she who is. she is. And he, I guess, told their, their father, father that she was going to run away and it like but then on top yeah. of that he was the favorite i suppose because he was, he was the boy. boy yeah and so she feels like he takes everything yeah from and, her and so she was basically like you'll have violet over my dead body mm-hmm. yeah. which i mean that that checks yeah but he in this episode apologized and was like all i knew of the world is that it was dangerous for women and i was scared of you running away and like getting hurt and so he was like i but also i was only 10 i had no idea like what was going on and so they she kind of forgave him and um now he and he and violet are moving forward yeah anthony noticed and he he started to get you forget yourself yeah and kate was like okay you're fine just relax we'll pretend head of the household later (laughs) <laughs> okay. I, and then that, that fucking scene with the queen where he was like, I assure you, nothing like that could be happening under my roof. And it's like, it, Benedict could be running a fight club in the <laughs> kitchen and you'd have no idea. Colin and Penelope Tango rings true enough to me. They he, Yeah, he's very mad at her. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of gets it. But it is also very like his own bullshit because he's like, She's like, I don't need you to protect me. And he's then like, well, what am I good for? And it's like, I love you. That's what you're good for. Husband is going to be your job. You don't need another. Like, the protection is not. I I would buy into his, like, traditionalism more if the family, the women in the family he mm-hmm. was from <laughs> weren't yeah. so progressive. Well, to like... your point, though, when I said that in our watch along, you're like, he's not paying attention to them. Sure, sure, sure. Because I was just like, because when she was making that comment about, like, you don't know what it's like to be a woman, and I'm like, he should. He has four sisters, and you were like, no. Like, that's, no, in that's that regard, irrelevant. no. <laughs> I, I think there's a fair amount of performing, yeah. you know, Plus, he has a very strong-willed mother on. as well. Yeah. He also, like you said, is very hung up on the fact that she basically was like, Colin doesn't know himself when he came back in the Lady Whistle Down when he came back from his European tour. And it's just like, yeah, sucks to have a mirror shown to you, but like, you know, change. And she even said, she was like, all I wanted was like the real Colin back because you were acting like not Playboy, yourself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they did go through with the marriage and they seemed to be on like better footing at the wedding breakfast. Until the queen came. They're, 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 they are properly in cahoots at this point, but yeah. they're not they're not behaving yeah. in love. Sure. I mean, I think that they that that is still very clearly a factor. Yeah. But they're they're focusing on the cahoots part where yeah. he's like he's he, he's focusing on duty and yeah. It, it it's noble, it's admirable, but it's also a little insufferable. Yeah, for sure. You she, well, she had a, a very cute scene with uh, the modiste. Yeah. Um, a little. Pre-wedding toast. Was something accomplished in the scene? She just was very worried. She was like, I don't know really what to do. And the modiste was like, yeah, girl, have some booze about it. (laughs) And And then Colin, like, fucking compromised her again outside in public. (laughs) Unbelievable. He can't, he can't not do it in, in just like <laughs> ankle and knee exposed to the wind. <laughs> like, Waldo's a Kimbo. 
that actually works. <laughs> you don't does. know the inside joke, but yeah. it was apt, I tell you. It's from a Cracked.com <laughs> article from like 15 years ago. It's from Spider-Man, too. But. Yeah, but it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, uh, one of the sisters, I still can't quite tell them apart prudence. prudence was being very suspicious through the whole episode she was she was like you i think like, it was mostly just because portia was like doting on penelope but then at the end when she just was like you make a very lovely bride you were waiting for her to to pull something i was and yeah. she hasn't yet and yeah. she did seemingly genuinely yeah. Um, well, it was really funny because she was like, you make a, like, a lovely bride or whatever, and then Portia walked away, and Penelope was like, you can say what you really think now, and she was just like, that is what I really think. Mm -hmm. And then even Philippa to the side was like... This was the... <laughs> this season and this episode is the best Portia's ever been. Oh my god, She's yeah. having a ball. Yeah. Like, she's... This is... Everything's going swimmingly for her. Yeah. <laughs> I would now like to talk for... 40 to 45 minutes about Penelope's dress. <laughs> I was going to say you had a you had a strong reaction. First of all, pink. It, yeah. Second of all, the best cut. Third of all, the corset that she was wearing at we the beginning. We gasped when they cut to them preparing her and the corset that she had. The, like, ribbons, the boning. It Ugh. was gorgeous. Like the front of a ship come to life. Uh -huh. Incredible. And then there was like this tool gathered at the back, almost like a ballerina mm -hmm. costume. And then her, the train on her veil was so long and it was embroidered at the ends. I mean, it just, no notes. It, beautiful. I loved it. She, she was a blushing, <sighs> a blushing bride. And she just like the way that they had her skin and the yeah. way they did her makeup. She looked like she a just looked glass. Like porcelain she looked doll. like she was made out of silk stone. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, beautiful. It was very the the wedding was very beautiful. Yeah. I kept waiting for something to happen and it it well, it did, but Yeah, but like for a second I thought she was going to run away. Mhm. Mm and that was like, yeah. I don't uh, it, it depends on how you do it. I I I don't hate that they threatened us with stuff that didn't come yeah. to fruition in this episode. If they do that too much, it gets frustrating, but this I, I thought agree. was fine. Yeah. Uh we, we we checked back in with Cressida a handful of times. Nothing is working for her. No. Aunt Joanna is coming from Wales to yeah. like, pick her up. She'll be here in a couple of weeks. She's made a fool of herself. The the were the two uh, whistle down issues was that this episode? Yeah, they both came out at the beginning, and yeah. one of them was particularly pointed the, at the Bridgerton. I don't remember the actress's name, Cressida. Her VO, her voiceover was very. Oh my fun gosh! Yeah, while she was what reading is her name, Jessica Madsen. Yeah. Her voiceover for reading her whistle down was very fun yeah. and welcome and needed distinction. Also, I loved the moment where Lady Cowper was like, your father's threatened to send me to the country too if I help you, <laughs> which is so fucking hilarious. Her mom is just like, I don't know. I, I I keep wanting to, I want for there to be a character there. And I mean, there kind of is, yeah. but I just think it's, I, I just kind of think it's funny how e even doing a good job she just, Cressida, like, yeah. in forging this letter, just kind of made a fool of herself, yeah. and everybody was like, nice try, loser. Yeah. <laughs> and then her mom was like, you were alone, and you will always be alone, and you're not gonna take me down with okay, you. Okay, the other thing, too, where she was like, um, haven't I always told you that, like, you can't trust anyone, especially women? And I'm like, the opposite of what you should be teaching your daughter. And also, how does that make you a woman exempt from mm -hmm. this lesson? Which, like, come on, man. I don't know. I don't know where we're going with it. Yeah. I, and that's, well, not a, that's not a complaint. At I, the I, end... That's, I don't know where we're going with it. Cressida is asking questions of all the printers, and the one... He's, oh, I guess maybe if she maybe she thinks that if she actually finds Whistledown... She'll still get the... Then that'll get yeah. her in her... Her, 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 her 5,000 mm -hmm. pounds, at least. Yeah. And she got the nugget, the red hair. Yeah. That, I started absolutely losing it at the end of our watch along. If you want to watch along, you can go to our Patreon on the $3 tier. Because she, I was like, okay, but that, Cressida has to be dumb enough, which I guess she is, to believe that Lady Whistledown would be going herself to the printer, which she is. Like, Penelope is, <laughs> is doing that. But, like, that's, we're, like, that's too, that's, like, a very coincidence that Cressida is stumbling into. We're at a Teen Wolf season three logic it, place where sure. we're taking a lot of things on yeah. faith and it just happens to be the case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where it's, like, good, like, I guess good for Cressida, but, like, the chances of her just 
accidentally stumbling on that information are minuscule. But she's one of the ones, and similarly with the queen, where it's like, they both are a combination of qualities yeah. that I feel, I feel like if anyone was going to figure out that Penelope was Lady Whistledown and it not be Eloise, mm-hmm. I feel like a mean girl sure. like Cressida would be one who would, who would play that game where yeah. it'd be like, it would actually have to be someone who goes unnoticed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so it seems yeah. like she's getting there. I don't know. I don't mind her being a bitch, but I don't like her being a villain. But we, I mean, we have, yeah. we have kind of, there are not a lot of hard villains on this show. That's true, but there it's also... There are characters also, that slip into antagonistic roles, It's but, also not really that kind of show, sure. so we'll just have to see. But basically, so the queen interrupted the wedding breakfast and told everyone who wasn't a Bridgerton to leave, and Penelope was, like, <laughs> hoofing it out there, and Colin was like, Pen, you're in here now. Um, uh, and honey. so the queen was like... One of you has a secret, and Francesca very cutely was like, I'm engaged to Lord Kilmartin, I don't care what you say about it. And she was like, adorable, I don't give a shit. <laughs> You've been very clear <laughs> about it. Very your clear about it. <laughs> Moving along. And so she was like, I'll find you out eventually, blah, blah, blah. And Penel because Penelope didn't say anything. And then she and Colin uh like went out to the other room and he was like, You must stop publishing now, surely. And she was like, You don't understand what it is to be a woman. And not be able to do literally anything. I mean, I, I can We talked about it a little bit in the previous episode. Yeah. I'll let the show do what it's going to do. Yeah. But I'm... We're a little bit of the... Quit while you're ahead, girl. I like, do! Okay, so... Go this girl! <laughs> for sure. So that's another thing where I'm sort of, like, at odds a little with the adaptation part of this. Because, as I mentioned, it is... It's, like, properly eight to ten years mm-hmm. by the time she and Colin get married. That she's been doing this. And as it stands now, this is only the third season that she's been Lady Whistledown. And so it's like, I while I do agree, like, quit while you're ahead, I feel like she hasn't gotten it all. She hasn't, like, done it all. And, you know? I mean, in her and the show's defense, uh, the history is sort of littered with female writers yeah. who did it in secret yeah. through their lifetimes. So. For sure. Clearly, the calling is is authentic. The calling is there. Yeah. From, from within. I also... There's a flaw in the Queen's logic, because she was like, Lady Whistledown... <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> she was like, Lady Whistledown must have known that Cressida was going to speak badly of the Bridgertons. So she came out with hers at the same time. And it's just like... But she didn't know Cressida was going to talk badly about the Bridgertons. She just knew she had to get a column out at the around the same time as Cressida to discredit it. It didn't have anything to do with the Bridgertons. So her, basically, first of all, she is wrong. It's not a Bridgerton. <laughs> you know? And then second of all, her logic is flawed because it's simply not a, it's not a Bridgerton. Like, mm-hmm. she, I guess she technically is now, but like, I don't know. I was a little annoyed by that. Just like, again, it's like you... Because the wedding just took place, you have arrived in the correct location, <laughs> but you did not get Your here. Your answer is correct, but er, yeah, I can never. I always want to quote it from Happy Endings, and I can never get it right. Uh, I don't know. But he's like, your reasoning is. <laughs> your reasoning is sound, sound but like your, your conclusion is correct. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was thinking Eloise was gonna. I, I don't I know. I don't know what we're so doing. Too. But Eloise comforted um, Penelope after Colin was like, "I'm sleeping on the couch tonight," and I'm just like, "Fuck you, dude." Good thing you already banged one out, I guess. <laughs> he was also drinking a crap load the night before the wedding, and then Anthony and Kate sat him down and were like, "Well, Kate sat him down." Anthony's useless, <laughs> and she was like, "You're being wearisome tonight." <laughs> amazing, it's truly amazing. Simone Ashley is like such a <laughs> such a boon to this show, and I, I do wish that the two of them had been in it a little longer. I don't know. I I feel. I feel blessed, blessed that we've yeah. gotten what we've gotten. But also, uh, I have two things to say. The first of which is they are apparently going to go to India um, to see Edwina and her new husband and um, have Learn the baby. About the culture. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and have the baby there. Um, his reasoning is adorable, too. He's like, I, the baby will always be a Bridgerton, but I want them to know they're a Sharma as well. And then the, the next. The assumption is that the baby is going to be reared in the Bridgerton world. Yeah. So it'll have plenty of opportunity of to feel like a Bridgerton. Yeah. He's still the Viscount. He mm-hmm. still, like, has to be there. The other thing I was going to say is I've been seeing a lot of memes lately because Jonathan Bailey is basically, like, booked and busy. And it's like, 
it's just all the people just like sitting eating popcorn and being like me watching Jonathan Bailey have this career that Reggae Jean Page thought he was doing by turning down Bridgerton. And it's like, it was just too soon. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. It was too soon. Yeah. Really? Well, the moment between Benedict and Eloise was really sweet where he was like, um, he was talking about how, who's your favorite sibling? And she said, Gregory, obviously. And he was like, yes, but you have enough room in your heart for all of us. And it was like, just because Pen- Penelope and Colin are married doesn't mean they will stop loving you. She's, it, this is the most that we've gotten the like feeling left behind from her. And I wish there was just a little bit more. And then Benedict went for it. <laughs> Kissed Paul on the mouth. <laughs> Really? I wish his name wasn't Paul. I don't <laughs> know. He does feel sort yeah. of like Chad. <laughs> but it's also just like in Dune where it's like Paul. <laughs> no, no, where I had the problem with that was Game of Thrones. <laughs> Rob. No, but so I was re-watching House of the Dragon season one and the Lannister's name is just Jason. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. Ted. Jason. Well, Ned. But, Ned, they, yeah. but Eddard, it works. Eddard it works. Is, it works. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. I'm of two minds. Okay. I feel I can feel the hesitation. It's fine. I got it. Beggars can't be choosers. And yet. Were you I'm hoping gonna... for more than kissing? No. I mean, there's one more episode. No, I understand that. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I just thought it was kind of dorky. Uh, that, why? That she had to like sometimes boys like oh, girls. Eh, I mean. And sometimes boys like boy. Like I kind of wanted it to be born out of passion uh i mean that he kiss made was a, like pretty he, he made a choice yes they got there it's yeah. fine uh, beggars can't be choosers but he just I, I don't know i kind of wanted it to be an in the moment thing oh i see sure sure like i kind of wanted it to be i, I wanted like overcome with lust for the sure. dick <laughs> well because <laughs> the last thing i don't want it to be fraught sure but I guess I did want a little bit more the love of which I dare not speak its name. <laughs> like, I wanted a little bit more of that sure. and a little bit less, like, the birds and the bees, which that's, I guess, where I have to remember what show I'm watching. Well, I also feel like he really, he did kind of, like, go through it. He was very, like, considering it the whole time. And for me, I was sort of like, well, how do you know you don't like it until you try it? Just try it. And that that's that's all well and good. And it's actually probably much healthier. Yeah. But I just sort of wanted, I wanted an in the moment. I get like, it. I get that for sure. Okay. The the one thing I wanted a Dorian Gray from Penny Dreadful. Of course. I mean, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Josh Hartnett and um, uh, Reeve Carney. I mean, that's what I wanted. <laughs> we all want that. The dream. Watch Penny Dreadful if you have. Am I right? The dream. <laughs> um. No, I totally agree, and I do also agree that her like sometimes. <laughs> Men like men. Red wine and white wine. <laughs> sure. Again, I agree. I did like the one part of it where, um, oh shit, what did she actually say? Now I've forgotten. She said one thing that I was like, no, I actually really like that bit. How do you know unless you... No, I said that. Oh god, it was just in my head. And then I it totally slipped away. This is it, yeah. Okay, so when she basically was like, um, have you liked every woman you've ever met? And he was like, well, no. And she was like, well, you know. That's what I meant when I was like, this is certainly healthier. Yeah. Like from a like sex positive place, which again, this show is a little bit doing. Yeah. It's funny how considering that it has a slight reputation for being rapturous, tawdry, Mm -hmm. that it's actually extremely, uh, uh, I want to say even keeled. That works, but like sex positive, it, it is, it, yeah. and and uh, educational and sort of like like it, it has a very healthy relationship. Yeah, considering the traps you could fall into doing a period show like this. Yeah, a hundred percent. But um, yeah, so he thought about it and then decided to go. I'm coming down real hard on this. I don't like, know. <laughs> yeah, it's like all you wanted, and now you fucking got it, and you're like, not like that, though. Yeah, that's not like me at all. <laughs> um, no, he, so they he, he came to her house, and they yeah. were coming home from the vampire opera. <laughs> Probably. And, <laughs> in that dress she was wearing. I love Hannah New. <laughs> She's I liked her on um, Black Sails. I think the character she played, the writing fell slightly into that starlight category that mm, we got from mm-hmm. the boys. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm I'm liking her being kind of a secondary player in this, 
Uh, she's also a mouth actor, and yeah. I like mouth actors. Well, she's got a great mouth, and like with the absolute, like just overabundance of veneers, I love that she's got real teeth. Real. And they're a little weird. I, lo- I love it. I'm obsessed. I, I just, I, I think that, like, yeah. Uh, so, and and as we said, he did, he did kiss Paul, and then he kissed Can Paul. Kissed him. It yeah. was good. I'm not. I'm. Very good. I'm, I'm. I'm just being. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit intentionally being a prick about this. A prick That's about this. That's not like you either. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I don't know what they're planning on doing with that. Yeah. I, they were going at it yeah. in the foyer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the open door. She, well, she was like, my footmen are very discreet. And I'm like, okay, I'm sure they don't want to walk in on you though, regardless. Okay. Colin and Penelope are across the street. In an alcove. I guess. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Shit, I was going to say one more thing. Oh, uh, Will and Alice are um, really playing it now. <laughs> They're balling out of control. They are balling out of control. <laughs> And they basically They're are like off social engagements they with are, the bat. Like, you're like, you'll remember that we conveniently forgot to go to the luncheon, and Will was like, "Oh, so will she'll want us to go extra hard to the next one?" And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> but it comes come so, so hard." hard oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our oh, poor audience God. is like, "I like so much of this, <laughs> but I don't understand half of what they say." <laughs> uh. That is often our problem in real life social situations as well. So we've been told we're very alienating. I wouldn't say very. We've been told we're alienating. We've been told we have we can, we have the the tendency yeah. that we, on occasion we can be very inside. Um the other thing that I wanted to say which is not very important at all, but um Lady Danbury's I guess society name is Agatha, but Marcus called her Soma. You like Soma. And I, no, with an M, M. I'm pretty sure. You liked it a lot. I liked you... it quite a lot. Ooh. And she basically was like, my government name? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I loved it. It was very funny. Um, also, Varley has kept on being sweet to um, Penelope. Their maid, their lady's yes. maid, uh, which I thought was like very nice and cute. I liked that a lot. Um, we also are enjoying Violet and Portia. In cahoots. We are hoping that they work Yes, when more. they were planning the wedding breakfast and um, Violet, they're both looking at Colin and Penelope who are like, you know, on the outs and they j- Portia just breaks and goes, I don't know what it is. I like have to, and Violet was like, yeah, me neither. Violet so needs a tacky friend. She could stand the... <laughs> yeah, because Lady Danbury is so on the up and up as well. And they've known each other since they were girls, so... Although I don't know if Portia is in Queen Charlotte. I guess someone could let us know. Mm. Um, well, we will when we get to yeah, it. Maybe we could. Maybe we should prioritize that. Mm-hmm. We got to get through season fourteen, Wolf. I swear to God. Um, but yeah, I do think that's it. Great episode. I'm very excited for the fourth one. Um, we're gonna be doing it tomorrow. Um, but it'll probably be out on like Sunday, if I had to guess. I th- Will's been doing them once a day. Oh, I just yeah. released them whenever they were available. Yeah. He's been for the first four. He did once a day. Uh-huh. Yeah. But if you want to watch us watch it, you can go to the Patreon. That's it for me. I'm done. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye.